What's up? What's up, everybody? We are back. We have us another Occitane review. I did put some in the truck. I have been using it and have another review on it. Okay, now, to be fair, one thing I do, I will give my honest opinion. Good, bad, ugly, you decide. I'm kind of like, I may make some of y'all mad. I'm kind of like Fox News. We report, you decide. We give both sides, left side, right side. You make your own decisions. I'm kind of the same way. So, on this load here, now granted, it was only 25,000 pounds in the box. And this is a heavy trailer, so I was about about 60,000 um right at 59,000 60 60,000 gross um maybe a little bit more because this trailer is actually heavy and with the amount of fuel that I have which I'll find out when I go to scale out but this load was only 185 miles of course you know you're going to get less fuel miles on the short hops because you've got more stop and goes in which I ran some back roads having to go through leaving Macon coming down to Riceburg, Georgia. I ran some backwoods having to, I ran through Fort Stewart, um, things like that. So keep that in mind. Stop, start, stop, start. Leaving Macon, I didn't go out the one way and get up on the Interstate 16 and ran. I kind of took back roads until I got up to I-16 at like exit 27. So I kind of ran south and then over, but I burnt 21.2 gallons, which came out to 8.65 miles to the gallon. Engine's running nice and smooth. Now granted, I also did just get the oil changed, but still the oil change ain't gonna make a big difference in your fuel mileage. It may help the engine run a little smooth, but it's not gonna make a big difference in your fuel mileage. But she is running nice and smooth. Um, nice, quiet idle. I did only burn 21.2 gallons and I did get 8.65. So, we are here, we are waiting for an operator to show up so I can actually get this load unloaded. So I just thought I would make a quick video and let everybody know. The Occitane actually is working. Um, so, in my opinion, I will absolutely say I think she's going good, which we will show y'all here. Um, as y'all can see, I am using it. I'm down to, to here on this one. But now I do have another box that I just got from the house. So I'm going to be working on that one and I'm going to keep on testing this stuff out. Keep on giving you updates and reviews. But like we say, Occitane, more throttle in the bottle. I will stick Mr. Colburn's email address right up here so y'all please be sure we also stick it in the description below so y'all can email him with questions on this find out how you can get a hold of some um now like i said before it doesn't it's not going to it's, it's not a fuel additive that's supposed to really improve now what it does it cleans out all the ulcers so it basically restores what you've lost so a brand new truck, it's not really gonna make that much of a difference with a brand new truck. Now granted, it will keep the fuel, the aeration out of the fuel, so it may help with power, you know, the throttle response and stuff like that. But now the older engines that's got build up and stuff like that, now that will absolutely will get that stuff cleaned out and things like that. So, but I don't know all the technicals. That's what Mike is for. Y'all please email Mike up here with all kinds of questions find out how you can get some today and try it out but to me i would say it's working 8.65 for me even with only 25 in the box i didn't even get that freaking deadhead before and to be honest usually eight to nine was me bobtail generally eight to nine was me bobtail before now I'm getting it with 25,000 a box. I just got 8.65. So I cannot complain at all. Cannot stress enough. Y'all give Mike a, a shout in the email. Leave some comments below, y'all. 
and we will see y'all on the next update, y'all. Peace out. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran to the no man, I still go. Go, go.